Where is the car? So we've added 4, 4 to 7, 8. At the very end, there's something that happens. We switch from 7, 8 to 4, 4 and switch back to 7, 8. So we're doing a lot of interesting things. Oh my goodness. I haven't done anything like that before. I haven't had anything like that before. So it was quite strange. But um, we are going to try. How the singer is going to cope with the 7 8. We don't really rehearse it. It's very difficult to keep to time at an odd time signature like this and be singing notes, you know, dancing at the same time, singing at the same time to this odd time signature. Don't tell anyone. I still didn't get my timing right. The rules and all the punches. Actually, I had to learn the original song. Um, Charlie. And that from ground. Let's bless our African continent with the blessings of Jesus Christ.
Africa. Africa. Can you see the sunrise, Africa? Africa. A light of freedom, Africa. Become the center of our culture as a people. Every single dance, every single clothing of ours, become the inspiration of our continent, O oh God, that is so rich, our heritage, our cultural diversity, O oh God. Take over this beautiful continent of ours and become the horn of Africa. When I ask you if you can see the sunrise, Africa, then you shout and say, Africa. You see the sunrise of All of us, no matter what we do in the church, we are firstly Christians. We are believers in a man who is Jesus Christ before we are instrumentalists or anything else. And I strongly believe 
that that should be the foundation of everything you do, not just music. And even though there's a perception that most of the time instrumentalists are not serious, you know, I really want to challenge everybody that plays an instrument like that. Regardless of the fact that an instrument can be learned, you know, on the outside and you can play, you can learn the keyboard, you can play it. We must remember that at any time we find ourselves in the church or behind our instruments, we are using that as a career or something. It's an instrument to carry, you know, something forth, to present something. And fundamentally, being a believer should be the foundation for anything you do, including being a musician. And for me, that is how I see it. I see playing the guitar as a ministry. And I don't see it as, you know, music per se, just, you know, something nice to do. It's an entertainment kind of thing. I see it as a ministry. And I strongly believe that if we can see it that way, you know, we are positioning ourselves for amazing things because music is a very powerful tool. So when we sit behind the drum, sit, you know, behind the keyboard, sit behind our instruments, and we see it as an instrument, you know, then it becomes, you know, a conduit for God to move. You know, music can touch lives. I've seen that if a sermon cannot touch life, music can touch lives. So we musicians who are handling those musical instruments, if we learn how to consecrate ourselves unto the Lord first of all, present our bodies as living sacrifices unto the Lord, we will become instruments for His pleasure. When we take our instruments and we are strumming on it, it's going to be God's life, God's spirit that is flowing through it. Yeah, we are. We can easily be distracted because we, you can be a musician and still not really have a good relationship with the Lord because most of the time people are concerned about how it is the instrument is sounding or how I'm singing. But we should try not to, you know, mis misplace our priorities. That the Lord should be first and our instrument should be second. And we should use the instrument to speak what we believe, you know, first as Christians. Next on ITL. Yeah, but I would say, what shall it profit a drummer <laughs> to gain all the chops, chops and then yeah, lose the groove? Yeah, you know man. Like, oh, he preached. He just yeah, you oh, get yeah. fired. you